Hello and welcome to Let's Learn. Uh, for today, we will be going through PT3 Mathematics. Alright, um, as we know, the current format for PT3 is only up to 2018, which is this year. Alright, and starting next year, there should be a new uh, format for PT3. But it's alright, you know, there's only a little bit of differences. Uh, even if, let's say, you're right now in Form 1 or Form 2, and um, you have this book, it's alright, you know, you can use it as a revision. And, you know, if it's something that you've never learned before, it's not bad to actually learn something new, right? Something that maybe you've never learned in school. Because no matter what, as long as you're still going to school, uh, you'll most likely learn it someday, alright? Or who knows? Maybe someone taught you the uh, new technique, all right? So, um, for those who are taking PT3, um, I'll recommend that you get at least the passive questions. Or, if let's say, you know, you want to study topic by topic because your teacher hasn't really finished teaching all the topics, you can get this book, all right? Basically, what it does is, they take all the passive questions from 2015 to 2017 for, for this version, all right? And they split it up according to the topics, all right? If it's Form 1, Chapter 1, then all of them will be there, okay? But only for this range of year, uh, years. So it's between 2015 to 2016 for this particular book. It's a new one, all right? So um, usually you can only get this in 2018 uh, by 2019. They'll update it to make I believe it would be 2016 to 2019. And since next year, it will be a new format. So they might try to uh, change it to accommodate for the new uh, topics, right? For the new PT3, which would be in 2019. Alright? Okay then, now let's go to chapter 1. Oops, that's chapter 3. Chapter 2, chapter 1. Alright. So 1B. This is in PT3 2017, um, question 50, part A, question 1B. Hmm. Okay, now let's see, in diagram 1.2, fill in each box with the correct number in order to obtain the value in the circle shown. Alright, then let's see. So you have 456, alright? So you need to find... 24 times what equals to 456, okay? Uh, just a second. Alright, sorry. Uh, I forgot to get my calculator. Alright, so it's a really old calculator. You can see that uh, the screen is uh, in need of repair or change, right? So, uh, since in PD3, you get to use a calculator, alright? So this is how we do it, alright? So we have, uh, let's see, 456 divided by 24, so it's 19, okay? So divided by 24, you should be able to get 19. All right, plus 321, so it's 456 minus 321, and you will get 135. All right, now for the other one, 456 divided by 3. All right, so 456 times, oops, sorry, it's, uh, it's something divided by 3, and you'll get 456, right? So you have 456 times 3, and your answer would be, let's see whether I can, 1,368, alright, hmm. is that better, slightly better, huh? 1,368, alright, so that's the answer right there, all done, alright, pretty easy. And all I need to do is just press, you know, all the digits into the calculator. 
uh, all the testing is whether do you understand how to basically turn it around okay all right then now for question two in diagram 1.2 fill in each circle with the correct number in order to obtain the value in the triangle shown <coughs> 